almost a year and a half ago, we sold our church to the college and were able to rent these two suites and have assumed the overhead for the pantry. What has happened to the pantry is that we've almost tripled the number of families that come. In May, for example, we, we, we served 158 children in the 211 families. 75% of our uh, folks who get food every month are over 65. They're women. They, they, of course, all have to meet the requirements. What they do is they furnish us with proof of residency and proof of income a month. So that might be disability, it might be Social Security. And they come in, pick a number, the number is called out, they're registered, they get their food according to the number in the family. Our major funder is the FEMA, and FEMA up to this point has given us $3,000 a year. The money from FEMA requires you to spend 98% on food and 2% on overhead. The trouble there is the amount that comes into the county is determined by the number of people who are receiving unemployment benefits. Eight pantries received half of what they normally get. We have to make up that other half as well as because the church can no longer carry the overhead, the pantry is going to have to pay half of the overhead, which, which is electric, utilities, uh, pest control, insurance. Today we spent $63 for small cans of, of corn. We're working on our Facebook page to put a uh, donor button that they can tap. But they can also send it to uh, our address here, which is 214 South Central Avenue, Prestonsburg, Kentucky, 41653.